So I'm finally back home. Um, there's a little plot twist at the mechanic. I thought they were just gonna like do some resetting stuff and then I was gonna wait around and then go home. Apparently that's not what's gonna happen. I had to drop the car off for two or three days. So I'm borrowing my mother-in-law's car right now because she can't drive at the moment. So I've been through like three cars in a bunch of different days. But the good news is my car is fine. <laughs> so right now I'm hanging out at home. Just resting a little bit before I get up and do more um, chores and stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's some laundry to do that I just need to put away. It's already like clean and everything. But if I am out too long standing up and sitting and doing all that stuff, it is harder for me because I have a couple of heart issues and everything, which is one of the reasons why I have a service dog. Um, but we're not getting into that right now, so maybe later I'll give a little rundown on that. Anyways, point being, I'm laying down to rest and relax a little bit, and then I'll get up and finish the rest of the day. Well, so much for the nap. So we have a neighbor that has, like, three German Shepherds. Not like, they actually do have three German Shepherds. That, apparently, they really like to play with Miss Pepper over there. And... We've known he could do this for a while, but it's never been a problem. And it actually hasn't been a problem recently at all. But it's happening more often. Like, it literally just happened two days ago and just now. One of them, I don't know if this is the same one every time or if it's, like, different ones. Because I really can't tell the difference between the three dogs. But they jump over the fence and come into our backyard. And they come, like, at first it's just, like, sniffing and everything. And it's fine. <laughs> But then they, like, get into it a little bit, which when we first moved in here, we joked that it gave Pepper, like, she just hated German Shepherds because of this. And it's been a really big pain to train it out of her. Um, and she can't have, I really hope the dog's not there again. Anyways, she can't have, like, any <coughs> problems with that dog. It doesn't matter if she, like, has an experience with it and like a reason why or not so i really don't know how to handle it because it's yeah it's a complicated situation so but if it keeps happening i'm gonna have to like do something i don't know because if she becomes reactive before she finishes her training and she's almost done but if she becomes reactive and like can't handle it anymore then she can't be a service dog so Gotta do that. I just had to separate them, actually, just now. I don't know if I actually mentioned that it, like, just happened. Anyway, so yeah, had to get rid of that. So now, no more nap right now, unless I can, like, chill and calm my racing heartbeat. <laughs> so, I guess I'll do some of that uh, folding that I was thinking about. I also have an order from my Etsy shop to get done, so I figured I'd show you guys how I do that real quick, just for a little funsy. I make Disney buttons because I <coughs> used to work for them, and I really liked everything Disney, and I decided, well, um, I'm home, but that doesn't mean I have to stop doing Disney things, so. This is my large collection, <laughs> which I need to have somewhere to organize, but I wear them, like, on rotation every day for my work because I have a lanyard so I just pin it on the lanyard it's kind of fun first things first we need a envelope and a shipping label those ones I print off of Etsy directly and it's actually really nice if you have a Etsy shop you should check out these shipping labels from Avery there was how many 200 labels so 100 sheets you saw this a second ago. I print out the buttons. I can print four to a sheet, which is nice. Usually, so these two are the ones that are actually going in the order. But if I don't have enough to fill up a whole page, I'll just make a couple extras. And then I have a stack over there of buttons that I haven't used yet that I can just take from if someone orders the same button again. I want to say it was like 30 bucks maybe for them. So there's that. It wasn't really too bad of 
an investment and it saved me from buying like a $500 shipping label dispenser, which I don't think that I'm ready for right now just because my business is like not bad, but it doesn't do like enough sales and revenue to be worth that. It's enough to be a cute little side job <coughs> and I mostly invest like the money that I make back into the business, but um, I think it's kind of fun and it gives me something to do. If I put more focus into it, it could be more of like an actual side hustle, but it's kind of nice just to have that option right now. Anyway, so we got the envelope and then what happens next after that, I have to cut these out slightly, obviously. Then once those are done, they're going to go over and get sandwiched with a, you can kind of see that. It's like a thin plastic piece is on front and then we have the printed piece and then there is a smooth plate and the back part that has the pin on it. After those are said and done, they get a little cellophane sleeve, they get a sticker on the back, and then my business card goes in there, as well as a cute little fun tape on the back of the package. And there you have it, one specially finished package. We put away <clears throat> the extras into the stack, and then this package goes near, <clears throat> excuse me, it goes near my bag for when I leave in the morning. And that way I don't forget it, because I have forgotten orders before, and it's been kind of unfortunate because then I have to send it out daily or than I planned. Still before the order time is supposed to ship, because I like to try and get things out early, but I just have high standards for myself. So there's that. I'll probably post more videos and or like Instagram stuff, I don't know, somewhere about running an Etsy shop later. And then I'll also drop the link to my Etsy shop in the description of this video. It's mostly Disney stuff, honestly, but I am looking into more like specific digital design stuff as just general design and not really Disney. So keep an eye out for that. This is the face of please let me in mother, please. <coughs> Wait. Okay. Here, let's move the ball. Let's play with it. Let's, let's do it, let's do it. There it goes, go get it. You missed it. You gotta give it to me. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. It bounced. It bounced. Oh, good girl. Go get it. Go get it. Oh, it attacked the Roomba. Go get it. No, you missed me again. Oh, you missed me again. Oh, 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 I got it. There you go. Puppy, puppy, see the hand? You give it to the hand. Good girl. This is a box for a dresser that we just did. And we just built for the nursery. So that's why it's not in the recycling yet. <laughs> Sorry, puppy. Mommy can't throw right-handed very well. No, that's my left hand. What am I talking about? I can throw right-handed occasionally, sometimes. Good morning from the puppy and I. I'm ready to go. Now I'm just chilling because I woke up early again. Had some waffles. I need to go get more groceries today though because I'm running out of things to eat. I also sound a little stuffy because I'm at that annoying point where you get the pregnancy congestion and everything. I looked up why you get pregnancy congestion because I was just curious last night. Something about like, since there's more blood flow, 
like, your nose is, like, stuffed up, and, like, I don't know. Science is not my strong suit. Let's just put it that way. That's why I never went into medicine. <laughs> um, but today, my favorite consignment, like, thrift shop for kids is having a sale, so I'm gonna go there. I might take my mother-in-law, I might not, I'm not sure, it depends on how she's feeling. And I have small group for church. And I forget what else I have. I thought I have something else, but I'll probably remember like 20 minutes from now. <laughs> so this is going to be fun. I'm only importing one small part of the clips that I use for our announcements here at the school. It is now an hour later and I'm still importing things, so... I don't think that looks good for my chances of getting the video out for tomorrow for our school announcements. Maybe Friday? We'll see. <laughs> but this is going to take a while. I finally got home. I stopped really quick to grab a snack because I didn't have groceries yet today. So I did not pack myself a good lunch. <laughs> um, and I felt like eating in and out also. So that's what I grabbed. My fellow Californian people, you know how it is. Um, then I also stopped by my favorite consignment slash, like, kids thrift store. It is called Once Upon a Child. There's four or five locations, I think, around the valley in Phoenix. So, if you are in the Phoenix area, check out any of those. They always have great deals. Like, today, I got this whole bag full of onesies for ten bucks. There's twenty of them. And a lot of these could go for 20 bucks, like, originally when you bought it from the store. So that's a pretty good deal. <clears throat> I was aiming for mostly, like, 12-month or 9-month clothes. Because I have a lot of the younger stuff. And I know you get a lot of the newborn, 0-3 to three and stuff at a baby shower. So that was my goal for today. I also have to clean out our Roomba robot vacuum thing. Which is also missing. <laughs> so you see this... Uh, brush thing here there's supposed to be one on this side but someone we won't name any names someone ate it and i don't I, we might have one more replacement i'm not sure but for now it's fine it works great on its own like it is so we really haven't needed to fix that up about to get started on my where you can find free baby stuff video i've got all these boxes and stuff and bag in the corner so that's exciting keep an eye out for that although it may be up before this video depending on how fast I edit this week and then I'm also going to work on part of baby Jay's book this I got from Emily Lay conveniently it says her name on the back um, but this brand I heard about from a different youtuber and I really, really liked the way that it was set up and looked and how, like, nice and modern it looked. So that's what I went ahead and ordered. I'll drop the link to that in the description of this video as well. So I totally just started recording the intro to my video and I forgot to check where the focus was. Rookie mistake. Just finished filming the free baby stuff slash how to get deals on baby stuff video. Despite the fact that this day started off terribly, literally like super terrible, I am being pretty productive right now. So I will be, <laughs> I'll be thankful for the small things. Right now, I'm just gonna chill, maybe get some editing done. I have to edit some photos for a few shop listings for my Etsy shop. So I'm gonna do those first, and then I might get to some video editing, we'll see. But then I have to pick up some groceries, and I think I already mentioned, but I have a small group tonight for my church, so we're gonna go to that. So it's two o'clock, and I'm just now starting recording for this day. It really wasn't as busy as that might make it seem, but it's kind of just been like an average boring day. So there wasn't really much that I had to talk about. The car is not out of the repair shop yet. So I haven't picked that up yet. 
and then I'm actually working on putting up some listings and I might try out a new product. I mean, it's not anything super fancy, but I made closet dividers for Baby J's stuff. So I think I might put those up on Etsy. These are what they look like. I have newborn, zero to three, three to six, six to nine, nine to 12, 12 to 18, and 18 to 24. They have little constellations on them just because that's the theme that I'm going with for the nursery. I ended up printing these out of cardstock. I got them done at Staples. And then I put two back to back and I used double sided tape to stick them together. Then I laminated them so that they would be a little bit longer lasting. I'm not entirely like, eh. I don't like them as much how they came out. If I did it again, I might do just regular paper or something like that. Not sure. It would take some working out. But I'm more than happy to put up the file that I made as a printable for five bucks on my Etsy shop. So check that one out. It is finally Friday. Still stuffed up a little bit. Still sound pretty bad. But it's almost the weekend and I'm excited about that. I do have stuff to do on this weekend. But it's only volunteering at church for a couple hours. So I have way more free time, which is really nice. <clears throat> I do enjoy volunteering, but there's a lot of stuff that I was planning on getting done. I didn't actually edit a video yesterday like I thought maybe, but I also didn't have high hopes for that. I did put together part of the, um, the bumper for an intro on the videos because I haven't made that yet, but I need to find a good little like uh, royalty free sting um, audio piece for it. So still working on that and then I'll get started on the actual video. I'm working on some super exciting grading right now. Anyone want to learn about uh, fractions and decimals? I'm also going to get to go home early today because we had a meeting on my break as normally. So I'm kind of excited about that. I was running it down until pretty much it died and then I was going to charge it again because I was watching the series finale of Criminal Minds. And I got a phone call that my husband's car was ready. So I drove down to go pick that up. <clears throat> Only cost us a cool $900. So got to figure out somewhere to put that in the budget and everything now. But um, had to get that fixed because his registration's up and it failed the emissions test. So at least that's done. And we don't have to borrow my mother-in-law's car anymore, which is nice. It was starting to give me, like, some back problem or something. I don't know how the seat was that was, like, different than our cars. But something about it just did not sit well with my back. <laughs> Anyways, that's done, which is nice. Now I have to renew the registration. Re yeah, registration, that's what it's called. Um, with Arizona. And then I am going to watch the second part of the series finale. Because I had to stop in the middle. <laughs> oh. Also, I forgot something else that happened as I was heading out. The humidifier arrived. Supposedly this helps with, like, some congestion and everything. I mean, that's why I got it now. Although it was eventually... Oh. It was eventually going to get here because it was on the baby registry. But I thought I'd try it now to see if it helps since the... Congestion is getting really annoying. My husband's grandmother also got us some baby clothes that I just remembered. So there's these cute little guys. I'll show you in a second. So we have a little bodysuit that says whale hello there. And we got a pattern with some whales and like there's a crab. There's some water birds, fish, that kind of thing. Super cute. These pants go with the top. It's got little race cars on it. So we got this outfit right here. And then last but not least, we got a little overall outfit. Very cute. Blue corduroy with the puppies. I'm about to make some exciting ravioli because ravioli is pretty good i really like this um marinara sauce it comes from costco you get two of these huge bottles 
and it definitely has enough <laughs> sauce for like way more than one serving of noodles so this was just one t small serving for me and my husband and it was like kind of low on sauce but that's okay anyway you should definitely check it out if you're a costco member while i'm waiting for it to boil so i can cook all the pasta and everything i also had to send off an email to cancel the shipped free trial that we got because target's doing like some partnership with shipped or something so send up for the tr free trial but they really don't have a lot of like store options i know target and petco are two options it's the only two that we would use out of them and there's a couple other store options that we really don't go to but neither of those stores we order a lot of groceries or anything from i mean with petco it was really annoying i ordered from the from the petco section just to try it and the size that we get the dog food for pepper i had to order two of them and i had to order like something else because it was literally less than a dollar away from their like shipping requirement so that was kind of like annoying but i mean pepper got treats out of it so <laughs> i'm sure she doesn't care so this morning's already off to a good start. We got the crib all done, and I'll insert a hyperlapse of that now. junior high later today and I might actually go and babysit one of my junior high's families after that we'll see depends on if she still needs me so I spent the morning editing the baby stuff video and I did that until my computer died so now I might just take a nap or something or just like relax either one mostly because I've done enough this morning to feel semi-productive and now I just want my brain to turn off Shake it off, kid. Shake it off. <laughs> we just got to church, and I'm about to go in for my junior high volunteering. Had to write a quick card because my co-leader's birthday was last week, although she wasn't here. So I got that done. And then I did stop at Dutch Bros because I had a free drink. The benefit of my husband working for Boosterthon is that sometimes he buys drinks from Dutch Bros and Starbucks for teachers, so we end up getting the rewards from that, which is kind of nice, because otherwise I don't buy coffee and do stuff like that, um, just in the name of saving money, and like, I really don't drink too much coffee, honestly, which is funny, because that's the stereotype for education people, but whatever, I do my own thing. <laughs> I might forget to update later tonight because things kind of get busy with junior high and like right after. And I also might do the babysitting that I talked about. So we'll see if the next clip is today or if it might be tomorrow. <laughs> 